Here's our data model pivot table. Here's our DAX formulas. And we need this variable from the Excel worksheet. When I change it to 1.5, click Refresh, I need the data model pivot table to update. That means we need to get that number into the data model and then into our DAX formulas. <laughs> Now, I've already used Power Query, get data from SQL database. It's already been loaded to the Power Pivot data model. If you have trouble connecting, here are the credentials. We can see the table F transactions in the Power Pivot window here. And there's already one measure to calculate total revenue. Now we need to bring this table from the Excel worksheet into the data model. Just like Power Query, if we want to get data from an Excel sheet into the data model, we first have to convert it to an Excel table. Control-T is the keyboard. Click OK or Enter. Immediately come up to Table Designs, Properties, and we're going to name it. Something like C Factor Table and Enter. Now I'm going to use Power Query to get this data into the data model. So I say From Table. I immediately come up to close and load, close and load to, only create a connection, add this to the data model. Click OK. We can see it in our queries window. Up in data, there's the button to view the data model. Or you can use the keyboard, Alt ADM. I see my factor table here. There's the single value. Now we come over to F transactions, and our goal is to take the factor and multiply it by total revenue. So this is the measure grid. We'll type the name of our measure. Immediately we see the name is up in the formula bar. Factored revenue, colon, equal sign. I'm going to type a square bracket that gets me to my measure tab times. And I would like to just type CF down arrow tab, but that's a column, and we can't use a column. So we're going to use the values function. Not value, but the one with the S. The values function is the function we use when we have a column with a single value that we would like to convert to a scalar value that we can use in our formula. So that's our formula. When I hit Enter, come up and format it. Reduce the decimals. Now we have a measure we can use in our data model pivot table. So values is a function we can use to get a value from an Excel table that we can use in a formula. Now I could click this button, and it will bring me over to the sheet. Or I can simply click in the sheet. And if I go up to Insert Pivot Table or use the keyboard, Alt and V, it defaults to the data model because we have something in the data model. That's the correct cell. Click OK or Enter. There's our data model table. I'm going to right click, Show in Active tab. Website in rows, product in rows, total revenue down to values, factored revenue down to values. That is amazing. That variable from the Excel worksheet is influencing our DAX formula. Now I'm going to show you the cheap and easy way to change it and refresh it. And then I'll show you how to add a button later. I'm going to change this to 1.5. When I hit Enter, it doesn't update immediately. I'm going to use my Queries pane. I definitely don't want to right click Refresh, because then it would refresh the 7 million rows of data coming from the SQL database. So I put it into Power Query. I'm just going to refresh this one table. Click the Refresh button, and there we go. So that's the cheap and easy way. And if the number doesn't change too often, that's fine. But guess what? We can use the macro recorder to record us refreshing this and then use a button here to refresh. That does mean that you have to have .xlsm. And in some cases, that's not allowed. So that's why this method of refreshing just the single row table is so nice. Also, we need the developer ribbon. If you don't have that showing, right click, Customize Ribbon. Check it over here. Now I'm going to change this 1.2. Down in the status bar, we can start a macro, or you can come up to record macro. I always click this button. I'm going to give it a good name, something like Update Factor Table Query. Click OK. Now anything I do will be recorded. So all I'm going to do is right click, refresh. I'm going to come down and turn it off. There's the button, or up here. Now up in Developer, Controls, Insert, there's our Form button. Click and drag. That's the macro I just made. 
click OK. While we still see this button in edit mode, let's something like that. Click outside. Now if I change this to 2, when I click the button, it is working. We can go up to the Visual Basic Editor, or we can use the keyboard Alt F11. And there it is, the single line of code that was created. Alt F4. All right, that was a little fun with getting a variable from an Excel worksheet into a DAX formula. Now, in this video, we only had one variable. I have two other amazing videos about getting multiple values into a DAX formula. You can check out those videos here. Thank you.